talk of delay now, Chris, in Cyprus, you know, whether this thing's going to happen anyway, uh, whether the legislation's going to be passed, when do the markets start getting really jittery about this? Um, not for a little while yet. I think the unknown unknown of will they, won't they pass the vote is the key worry. But I think we're in for a few days of back and forth negotiations between Cyprus and its European partners over how they actually deal with this deposit tax and what and any if other assistance they get from Europe. Um, again, we talked yesterday of contagion, Spain, Italy. Um, it doesn't seem to, uh, to be spreading this. What are, what, are, what are the people you speak to in the market saying about it? Well, no, it doesn't seem to be spreading at the moment, and famous last words, but generally the reaction is that this sort of banking levy can't be applied directly to Spain and Italy sheerly because, simply because of the sheer size of their economies. They're so much larger and so much more important that they have the capacity and the firepower to oppose this on a European level. Cyprus, unfortunately, doesn't have that option. So if we don't get a vote this afternoon, if we don't get a timetable for a vote, what happens in the market? I think more uncertainty is the key thing, and that will probably lead to some more edging back in the market. It's not quite the knee-jerk reaction we saw on Monday, and that didn't last very long, but a general edging lower as investors really wait and see what happens, and that is the key element at the moment.